In this video, I'll talk about the bias variance decomposition. So I talked about the, the mean square error in a previous video. So this was the definition of the mean squared error. Write it down here. The definition of the mean squared error is the expectation of the difference between the true parameter and the estimated parameter. So we can break this down into two parts, and that's this is the bias variance decomposition. So this is equal to here's the bias variance decomposition. The first part is called the bias. So bias is the difference of the mean of the estimator, which is that, which is this first part here. This is the mean of the estimator minus the true estimator, or the true parameter, rather, that you're trying to estimate. That's the bias, so the systematic bias built into that estimator. It's possible that this term is equal to zero, and that's usually a good thing. Then we call it an unbiased estimator. The other term here, this is the variance of sigma hat squared. So that's the variance. So we can break this down into bias and variance terms, and here's how you do it. You take this expression theta your true parameter minus theta hat squared. So this is equal to I'm rewrite it as theta hat minus theta squared. To be consistent with how we got it. So you can write this then as theta minus theta hat minus mu theta hat right here. I can add these two, add and subtract mu theta hat, that is the mean of the estimator without changing anything here. I've just uh, subtracted it right here, and I've subtracted and subtracted, which adds it here, so that doesn't change the expression, so these are equal. So this, then, if I expand this square out, I have sigma hat minus, not sigma hat, theta hat minus mu theta hat squared minus two times theta hat minus mu theta hat. This term, theta minus mu theta hat plus the last term squared theta minus mu theta squared. Okay. Then when I take the expectation, that means I'm just integrating it um, from negative infinity to infinity in case of a continuous distribution. Then we have the expectation of theta minus theta hat squared is equal to the expectation of everything on the right. Okay, so here is the first term in it. The thing to notice, uh, and the trick to this whole particular derivation, is that theta is a constant, 
and mu theta hat is a constant. So these are constant. Okay. But the other one, this theta hat, this is a random variable. So when we're taking the expectation, because it's linear, we can take this uh, constant term out, and we get we get the following: we get minus two theta minus mu theta hat. Moving it out as a constant, we can put the expectation inside. So now we're times multiplying by the expectation of theta hat minus mu theta hat. Okay. And then mu theta hat is equal to the expectation of theta hat. So this term right here is just equal to zero. And the last term is plus theta minus mu theta hat squared. Okay, because this second term is zero, we're left with uh, the final expression, expectation of theta minus mu theta hat squared. I forgot to add my expectation here, plus the expectation of that. Plus the expectation of theta minus mu theta hat squared. Now this first term is the variance. This is sigma squared theta hat, the variance. And the second term is the bias. And that's how you get the bias variance trade-off.